How are you doing today? I am wonderful. You look great today. Muchos thank you very much. I'm very happy today. I am. I'm always happy, especially when you're in the house of the Lord. Like, what's not to be happy about? Amen. So, Let me ask you a question. Yeah. When you took the discipleship class, tell us, what did that do for you as an individual? Honestly, that really transformed my life because I've been serving the Lord for about 34 years of my life. I got saved at five years old and I've done ministry and you think you know what discipleship truly is until I took that class and I was like, wow, because there's different levels of discipleship and you learn that in that class. So not only was I able to utilize that as a believer, but like moving forward, when I ministered to people, when I talked to people, I was able to see the levels that they were in and able to minister and discipleship, disciple them accordingly because they're in different levels. And that's the only way that you could really impact people by going to where they're at. And I feel like this class showed me that. You talk about impacting people. Did it, did it make a big difference in your family and the relationships that you had? taking this class? Absolutely. I had a friend that I was um, trying to minister to, talk to, and they were not trying to hear it because of the place that they were in. And when I took this class, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm trying to speak to them like if they're, if they're in this stage, but they're really in this stage. So I kind of stayed there a little bit more. And the more I talked to them, the more you could tell it was more receptive. And they even like gave their life to the Lord. They started reading the word. I gave them the Bible. And it was all because I was able to meet them where they were at. Sometimes we don't see that when you're so used to what you think discipleship is. So I feel like it opened my eyes to new things. What would you say to those who are on the fence right now about this discipleship class and, and taking this? You said that some people need their eyes to be open. Mm -hmm. How would you help to open their eyes right now about taking this? So the first thing I would want to say is I want to break that myth that discipleship is only for those that are coming to the Lord. There's people that are rededicating their lives to the Lord. There's people that haven't come to church in a long time and you just need that fresh start. You need to understand in this season what discipleship is. And when I was thinking about how I wanted to answer this, I thought about the story of Saul because Saul, like he was, he had his own agenda. He was on its own road. He knew what he wanted to do. And then he had this encounter with God. God, and then God sent him to Straight Street to encounter Ananias. And it was Ananias that helped him open his eyes. It was Ananias that helped him be filled with the Holy Spirit to get baptized. It was like that was his moment to become who he was supposed to be. And maybe you're not so, but you are on your own little road. And then you came to church. You had this encounter with the Lord at the altar and you're trying to figure out what to do next. I think discipleship is your straight street moment. You come, you'll meet your Ananias. They're going to show you how to, you know, have your eyes open to who you're supposed to be now and be filled with the Holy Spirit and then kind of set you straight, straight street. I think it's perfect is to bring you where you need to be to be who you were supposed to be. And that's what I would say. Yeah, but that's awesome because we all need to get ourselves aligned yes. with how God wants us to live our lives yeah. and make disciples. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs>